Hey guys, so I just wanted to show you the coordination button in Revit again. Um, we're using Autodesk Revit 2020. And I just think this is a really nice tool because, um, you know, traditionally, if you try to bring in external contents into, um, or like AutoCAD content or SolidWorks or Inventor content, um, it would almost destroy your, your productivity that you would have in Revit because then, you know, it would spend 10 minutes reloading a screen because you had to pan, you know, 10 feet over. So, you know, and with Navisworks being able to, or at least to, you know, the ability of bringing in a Navisworks model and the fact that, you know, the way that Navisworks kind of dumps down the information there um, so that we can visually see it in a really uh, efficient way is, is just super cool to me. And um, to do that, um, it's pretty easy. All you would have to do is have a NWC file or a NWD it, to create those. Um, you could either take your model and export out an NWC or you could open up Navisworks and then go in there and um, append some models to it. So either that be uh, NWCs or you try to append a, a you know AutoCAD file or a Revit file which will automatically create the NWCs and then you would save because um, essentially that that would be your NWF that you're working in you would then save out an NWD um, and that you could use in your coordination models which would be the typical workflow because um, generally uh, your NWDs are going to be a compiled version of all your your different uh, uh, working uh, uh, files and um, also you know your NWCs would be really useful because those are your individual Navisworks files um, so you could bring in you know just specifically your mechanical systems because generally or at least you know what I've seen uh, especially in multidisciplinary firms is that they'll have uh, if they don't have their models broken out and they have one model they may um, you know within a one MEP model have views specified for each discipline and, and those would be your Navisworks views that would create the NWCs of each one so you could bring in you know through the BIM coordinate or through the coordination tab just bring in you know one discipline over the other also what's cool is um, you know your contractors are working in AutoCAD or some fabrication software and those are pretty intense you know things and you just want to bring it in for reference um, that's you know really useful as well too you know or you're, you're trying to remodel your LOD you know your uh, what is it um, LO or LOD or level 300 um, model and or LOD 300 you know model design model that you want to update into you know an LOD 350 or up to um, I couldn't imagine remodeling everything to 400 but you know if that was the case that you needed to do that it might be useful you know having that ability to bring in the Navis model because you would then not have all the added you know weight of a entire fabrication model inside your your Revit environment um, it also depends on what tools they're using so to show that um, I'll go ahead and jump in there and we can take a look as soon as my um, uh, mouse starts working um, so if we go up here into our uh, insert tab we have this button coordination model and it's a pretty simple dialog box and when we bring this in it's pretty simple as well we don't really have much we can do uh, which is kind of uh, a downfall but again it's it, it's it's moving in the right direction so that that's nice so if we add um, I've already got an NWC again NWCs are just individual files generally um, pushed out of a, a model so for example this that this Revit model we would push out a NWC Generally, uh, what you would get from like a contractor or somebody is an NWD, which is just a compiled version of all the NWCs that were linked in the NWF. Um, depending on where you're at with Navisworks, uh, that might confuse you. And I have a video out there talking about the formats, so definitely check that out if you're having some trouble understanding what those differences are. But um, just the most basic thing is that NWCs and NWD 
file format. So here we can see NWC are the only ones that you can bring in here. So with those open, and you can see that down here as well. So we'll click on this, open. We'll get it. We just get size, status, model name, save path, path type, count. Um, the count's there because you can actually take this model and uh, copy it around. So um, if you needed to maybe copy out different designs or, or di um, you know, if you had a element that needed to be copied around just for visual representation, you, ha you have that ability. Um, down here, you can change the positioning when you bring it in. Um, we can see here it kind of shifted it off, but that's all right because I just want I want to visually t uh, we I want to look at it and show you um, kind of what it looks like visually. And um, after this, we can just press OK, and then here we can click on it and do you know some stuff to it. Um, I'm going to turn off this section box so we get the whole thing. So we can move it around. And again, if we click on it, we can copy it. So now we have two of them. And if we go back into um, our coordination dialog box, we can see now the count moved up to two. So I'm going to delete one. Um, we don't have much we can do. We can't tab into this, figure out what elements, you know, if we receive something from a contractor has a whole bunch of stuff in it and we want to turn it off like layers, um, we couldn't necessarily do that. Uh, it looks like maybe at some point we can do that because we have this drop down, but it doesn't really give us anything. Um, we can turn it off here. The only thing we really get is we can turn on the transparency. We can see now it's kind of transparent. Also, um, these are this Navis or this coordination model will show up in your plan views as well. So if we jump over here to our level one, we can see that it's brought it in here. And it isn't like a CAD file. You can see that it actually sections this Navis model and section it sections it down. So we can see, you know, if we look over here, we can see the table. Um, the kitchen area and all the different appliances and stuff so um, we get all that information that like it sections it which is really cool because CAD files um, don't necessarily do that the ones that you would insert in here so that's one nice functionality uh, again it, you know if you're trying to coordinate uh, this model or update it based off of what the construction um, team did then you know this this makes it way easier also um, and again you know that's if we look in a 3d view because we're seeing that section you know that that means that we can um, you know section this 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 element so if I go in here we can turn off everything except for this model view and then we can come down here and turn on this section and then let's go in here and make sure our section box is turned on. Um, it looks like it was hidden. So if we come down here, review hidden, we can um, unhide our section box. Um, not sure if yours will be like that, but if that does happen to you, it's always worth checking. You know, if you can't, unhide something and it may be uh, manually hidden or over um, overridden or override so if you click on it we can kind of drag this around and section it uh, to whatever we need it to be kind of hard to see because it's transparent but you can see it's we can work with it, we can use it, we can throw it around, we can copy it, um, we can go in there and make it transparent if we needed to. Um, we can go into a plan view and you know see that model in context with our content, um, you know, for coordination. So and it's you can see here it's really it doesn't cause much problems. This isn't a huge model, I think it was only uh, 10, 10 megabytes or so, or actually two. So you know, pretty much nothing, but um, 
I have brought in larger models. It, it seems to handle them pretty well. So again, it all depends on really what you're bringing in here. So, but I just want to share that. Um, again, I think this is really, really useful. I haven't had too much, too many opportunities into, uh, you know, to actually use it. Um, I did happen to use it a couple times on a pretty large project where I was bringing in uh, a variety of different disciplines from a contractor brought those models in and, and I was trying to remodel what they created in CAD so it was useful in that sense um, so so let me know if this helped you if you learned anything um, let me know if you have any comments or feedback and um, if you want to see more subscribe and I appreciate you guys watching thanks a lot